All right, we've got a room pouch. Let's get an event RPG as well. Oh, finally, a purple in my name. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Good luck. Thank you, Jinami, bro. Please, a scythe, anything? Anything but a defender, I'll take. Rapier, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go. Let's go. That's 125 lead points for wearing a rapier. 47,215. You guys ever seen a flying cannon before? Let's see what we get. Aw, oh, Vernick, rip. Pack like a yak. GA. We take it. Okay, I'm actually not going to do my sire task right now. I'm going to go do revs for 25 more construction because it drops mahogany planks. It also gives me a chance to get the ancient crystal for the obelisk. It also gives me a chance of getting a wilderness weapon. It's just very good all in all, so it's something I'm going to do. Also gets me to 200 slayer, uh, slayer points. Gets me to Laren's keys, which gets me a chance at a dagon high thing. It's just a big combo breaker, so let's get it done. Okay, this is the setup we're rocking. I don't even know if we need food or anything, but the fragments we got on are double tap, knife's edge, and also absolute unit. I don't really think I'm going to take that much damage at all, but uh, yeah. We're just gonna go blow pipe revs and hope to get a lot of drops pretty much and get some Lyran's keys. I'm just draining my prayer to zero right now if you're wondering why I don't have my armor on. But yeah, just, mahogany planks times 13, bush slow Ethereum. I'm just gonna get a bunch of GP from here and 25 more construction XP. And hopefully Lyran's keys for Dagon High. Hopefully the ancient orbs for the obelisk and it'll all work out just as I imagined. I'm in this four spot and I'm literally killing them faster than they respawn with the blowpipe and double tap and nice edge. I'm sitting on 18 HP, probably could be a bit lower, I don't know, but yeah. I'm literally waiting on respawns, which is nice. I've been here for like fucking three minutes i've got 450k already it's more than mahogany planks and the larynx keys and shit like that we want but obviously the gp is really nice too because there is a 250 mil task at the end of the league or whenever i can get it done obviously the crystal crown the crystal crown is a master task worth 250 mil and 250 points so all the gp i get here is just going to add up towards that and honestly after bringing building the demonic throne the other day i am pretty broke Bro, I've already completed that task and I've already got two mil cash. I think I only have, what, 44 mahogany planks or some shit like that. But the cash itself and just the amount of tasks I could potentially complete with the right, right, with the right amount of RNG, sorry for stunning my words there, would be amazing. I'm just going to camp it out until I get the points I need for close to uh, 25 mil construction, as well as any of the other drops. It would just be huge for us. Still no Laren's key from that task, which was surprising. I need to make some space in my bank, man. Let's go, baby. First kill on the second toss back, and we get one out of the four ancient crystals we need to make the wilderness obelisk. That's exactly what we're looking for, man. Our luck is panning out. Let's fucking go, bro. That's hype. That's only one out of four, but, you know, that's one more than we started with, so I'll take it. And that is ancient crystal two out of four, baby. Let's go. Okay, two more, and then I think that's a 125-point toss we're going to be able to get done. Any back-to-back? -back? No, unfortunately not. Look at our cash stack, though. 2.5 mil already. The money keeps coming in, but we still ain't eating good. Okay, that's our first Laren's key, which is a shot at Dagon High. I think it's like a 1 in 15 or a 1 in 25. I've been told both numbers. I have no idea which. Only our first one, though, so I don't think we're going to go open them just yet. I hope to get a couple more. Second task done. We got 4.3 mil, two of the crystals, and one Laren's key. Let's run it up. I've only been on Scald for like four kills, so don't shout at me in the comments. Super Revenant. Come on, come on. No one else hit it. It's like an iron. I don't even know if I can kill this with no food, to be honest. Probably can, right? I assume so. I have no idea if there's any special mechanics to it or anything. I only have three food on me. Oh no, I've been frozen in place as well, dude. Oh no. Okay, I don't like those odds. Alright, we're back. We've got food. It's still- I don't think anyone else has hit it yet, so I think we're doing good, actually. I think we should be able to get this kill now. Come on. Good fight, good fight. 30k XP drop. Ancient emblem worth 300k. Damn it, bro. I knew I had a guaranteed roll. I just saw that on the Wikipedia for any of the emblems. But if it gave me one of the ones that was worth more, that would have been a 50-point toss right down. Damn. You can't have a fourth surge while wearing an Amulet of Avarice. I don't have an Amulet of Avarice on. Interesting. To be honest, I didn't even go trade that emblem in. I just alked it. We've just done our, what, our third task now. We're at 6 mil cash. Let's go get another one. We're still only at 2 out of the 4 ancient crystals. They're not on my looting bag anymore, though. All right, let's go. Seconds and Lyran's key. Where is it? There we go. All right. Nice, nice, nice. It's game over. It's actually game over. It is actually game over. I just got a crossbow. I just got a crossbow. Oh my god. Wear a wilderness weapon for 125 league points. Equip a crossbow. The game is actually over. I can do all the wilderness bosses now. I can complete everything in the wilderness. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. There's so much content I'm doing over today and tomorrow on the road to 50k points that I'm basically splitting it into two videos, which does guarantee there will be another upload tomorrow no matter what. You guys know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed. It really does help put food on the table for me and my 17 kids I'm trying to support with this league's content. And it's the best way to help my channel out. And come on, guys. You guys wouldn't want to be a part of the 50% of my viewers who aren't for the kids. Right? I need to go put some ether in this because I think it's actually better DPS than the, than the blowpipe. 
Oh my god. This is ridiculous, dude. Okay, this is actually way better than the blowpipe. I like two hit everything. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, an 8k XP drop. 6k XP drop. I killed them so quick. I'm literally waiting for four revs to respawn. Okay, and that is this rev slayer toss done. Even though I'm two out of four of the ancient crystals and I didn't ever got the ancient medallion or anything like that, I think the crossbow is too huge to not use right now. I think I'm gonna go try out Venonatus and see how it goes. As all the wilderness bosses have a lot of points locked behind them, so I'm gonna go try it out. All right, I may or may not have died setting up the Venonatus safe spot and losing my Ava's assembler in the process. So we're back to revs while I untilt. Hopefully we can finish up the ancient obelisk and the medallion. And then we'll go do that later. And that was the most hyped up I've ever been for a drop, and it's, I have instantly gone and tilted from it. Okay, I might have had the wrong tiles marked, which led to the unfortunate loss of my Ava's assembler. Shout out 9-2 for keeping me sane. I think I figured out the safe spot now. We're 90 kill count, 19 kill count. I might camp till a dragon pickaxe, dragon warhammer, and whatever ring it drops. 39 kill count. We've got the dragon pickaxe. Man, I'm so happy 9 to help me set this up because otherwise I'd be losing my mind. Also got a Laren's key. Same drop. Let's go. Let's get that all in the fucking bag. Um, where dragon pickaxe? 50 league points right there. We want the D2H. We want the trees in the swing. We want the lot. Nice. I just got another pickaxe. I'm a Venonatus adept. All right, we got two D picks. Our looting bag has 6.4 mil in it, plus this one. Actually managing to get kills now that I've figured it out, so should go pretty smooth. I think I'm gonna camp until a treason string. It's like 1 in 170. Hopefully, I don't go too dry. Third dragon pickaxe. We still have no dragon 2H, still no treasonous ring. We're at 92 KC. Okay, that's a full slayer task of Venonatus done. I'm just gonna go assign myself another one, and hopefully, we can get the D2H and the treasonous ring in that. And that is the Venonatus veteran elite combat task done at 100 KC. Alright, I was falling asleep at Venonatus, so I thought I'd come give myself some dopamine by getting a chance at the Dagonai robes. So let's open some of these chests with these Dagonai things. Dragon fruit tree seeds. Don't need any of these. Dragon arrow tips. Don't need any of that. Wow. This is amazing. Some rune plate body alks, magic seeds, don't need any of that. Oh, I got a Dagonai hat. Nice. Okay, that's very, very good. One piece of Dagonai. That's a 50 league points right there. 47,440. Three more points. Can I get anything else? Uncut diamonds. Rune plate legs. And with the last one, we get pure essence. Dagonai top is nice, though, for the Zami effect. Okay, and this is a mahogany tree we planted approximately seven years ago for another 50 league points, 47,490 points now. And that is my fourth dragon pickaxe, man. What a troll game. Just give me a D2H, give me a treasonous ring. I think the drop rate for a treasonous ring is like 1 in 170 with the boosted drop rates. So I'm going dry. The dragon 2H is even more common. It's like 1 in 80 or some shit, so yeah. I just got the Venonatus pet, bro. I actually just got the Venonatus pet before I got the fucking, um, before, what's it called? Before I got either the treasonous ring or the D2H. That's my ninth pet on this leagues. Look at him, the little guy. That There's no boosted drop rates on that either. That's one in 2,000. That is so... Honestly, I'll take it, but you can't even use pets on leagues because of the way Last Recall works. It doesn't let you take pets anywhere. It's a very cool pet, don't get me wrong. But man's here for points. I've already got a boss pet. 199 KC and I got the trees this thing. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, I'm happy now with the pet. Am I done now? No, I don't have the Dragon 2H, but I guess I can get that somewhere else, right? Collect some resources for 50 league points which is very, very nice. And it also gives me logs, which I can use for my clues, which is gonna be nice. Okay, my miscellaneous thing gave me like 180 teak logs, which should be around 18 more easy clues on top of these three. Just gonna go do them all, and hopefully that should get me all the points from all those tasks done. Is that a sub three minute? Yes, it is. Let's fucking go. We completed it in two minutes, 19. Lol, shout out to Hootie, shout out to Jinami, just carried me, Maz, and 9-2 to the sub three minute. We absolutely take those. Also two Grandmaster Combat Tasks, or an Elite Combat Task, a Master Combat Task, and a Grandmaster Combat Task. That puts me up to 47,790 points. I'm gonna get back to doing clues right now. How many clue caskets do I have so far? Uh, caskets. I've got eight easy clues caskets, and I've got 13 more to do, so I should be around 21 as long as I don't drop any. I'm eating my KFC, so I'm semi-AFK, so I just decided to come do my final Winter Todd kill, or my final Winter Todd kill, my first ever Winter Todd kill. 25 points just like that, which I haven't done already. Puts me up over 47,850 points. Some combat tasks done as well. What do we get from the supply crate? Some saltpeter. 14 caskets. I literally have nothing from the collection log because of my Entrana adventure. So I'm just going to open them here and hopefully get some cool stuff. Uh, okay, that's two uniques already. That's one unique. Uh, one unique, I think that is two, I was going to say. Okay, that's fill five easy clue collection log slots. So that's 25 points. Don't know what I just got there. Some charged dragon stole jewelries. I think a Zami page is good for me. Um, pantaloons. Oh, I just got a golden chef's hat. That's cool. 
Master Clue as well, let me bank that just in case. And that is gain 35 unique items. We need to do 50, so I think we need to get a couple more clues done. Bing, bam, boom. Another Bandos robe top. Nothing really good from that. Okay, nice. All right, so we need to do some more clues to finish the... So I still need to fill 50 easy clue collection log slots, so let's go try and do that. But we are now in 47,890 points. Okay, I only have six more easy caskets to do. I did have to drop one or two. I wonder if this will get me to the 20 collection log slots for the hard task. Somehow I doubt it, but we might be able to get it done. We're at 18 out of 20. Okay, I'll just go until I get those two. I don't think I'm going to go to the 50 because it just seems like a little bit much, to be honest. We'll stop at 20. Okay, I just decided to get the Memoriam Crystals, which is a 50-point task, as I was here chopping teak logs to go make some clues with anyway. Don't really care about that at all, but we're on 47,940 points now. Let's push above 48k. Alright, we've got like 10 more easy clues from like 100 logs or something. Let's just do them all, and that should be enough to get the 20. We only need two more unique items, but, you know, anything could happen. Alright, nine caskets done. Surely we get these points. What are we saying? Can we claim a quick 50 points for the one time? Yes, we definitely can, bro. I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah, fifth, fill 20 easy clue collection log slots. Only took three. Uh, oh, we got another master clue, too. Only took, what's it called? Only took three clues. Let's just open the rest of them, see if we can get any god pages. Anything special at all. Eh, not really. What are we at out of the 50? I want to see whether it's worth going for it. Clues. Easy. 27 out of 131. Honestly, it does kind of seem worth going for it. It's 125 points. I only need to get 23 more slots. The issue is I don't have any more logs, so he might come back to this because I feel like it's a waste of time if I just start, if I just start, uh, if I just start cutting logs. Okay, we're going to move on to elite clues. We have 76 of them. Honestly, I think we only need to get like 25 collection log slots, so this should be pretty easy to do. It'll just take a bit of time because obviously they're a bit long. Good fight. Come on. <laughs> Had to be done, bro. <laughs> that guy's balding, bro. Okay, you don't even want to know how long this has taken. We have a f finally, finally achieved 10 caskets. 9-2, if you're watching this, shut up. Um... Let's go open them. Let's do a little pack opening. I have no idea how many of the tasks is going to get us done. I'd like to hope it gets us 25 uniques, but I do think that might be wishful thinking. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, we got 10 elite caskets. Let's check the collection log to see what we've already got from the one that we did, because I'm pretty sure we got some points from that already. Yeah, we got one. Oh, we got two obtained from one elite clue. So if we could get that kind of RNG again, 2.5 per elite clue, that'd be amazing. Okay, that's fill three elite clue collection log slots, 25 points. I just got a rune crossbow. Nice. Uh, Black Dead Body. Okay, that's only one. Damn. That's like none. Okay, this is not going great. Holy Wraps. Okay, that's gain 10 unique items from clues. Okay, that was three. That's really nice. That's 50 league points right there. We just got a Royal Crown. Uh, nothing from that, though. Damn, that's unfortunate. Caskets. Oh, it doesn't really give much. Master Clue, Royal Gown Top. Dragon Chain Body Ornament Kit, that's cool. Briefcase, that's cool. That's fill 10 Elite Clue Collection Log Slots, that's 50 points right there, nice. Okay, so we got to 48.15, but we did not get 25 Uniques, unfortunately. Um, let's go check our Collection Log to see what we got. 11, 11 out of the 25. I wonder how many Uniques we got. We're just gonna keep doing Elite Clues until we at least get the 25 Uniques. Another one, let's open it. Oh, Black Ti Chaps Gold, though. Come on now. Still not our 25 uniques though. Okay, this casket was a lot quicker. Do we get the 25 unique items? No, we do not. Royal gown top, gothics page two, and some oak planks, and a giant boot. Let's keep going. Another casket. Could this be the 25th? No shot, dude. I didn't get a single unique from that. Okay, we have another casket. Please, please, please. Gain 25 unique items from Elite Clues. Let's go, man. Gothic's Page Light Infinity Color Kit. Damn, that's sick. Purple Sweet Dragon Square Shield Ornament Kit, too. Okay, that's pretty cool. 20, uh, 125 League Points. I'm not doing the 25 Collection Log Slots. It's going to take too long. This probably took like four hours for all the points I got. Not honestly that bad, but if in hindsight, probably shouldn't have done it. But it's something I have to do eventually anyway. So it's not that big a deal. We're now at 48,245 points. Okay, we're at the Todd of the Winter Variety, just chilling. We're gonna get to 25 more fire makings, 8 mil XP. I don't know exactly how many games it is, but I mean, Winter Todd is a task I have to get done anyway. There's like different KC tasks for it. I think it goes all the way up to 300 and something. So I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. It's pretty AFK, get 25 more fire making, probably eat some food while I do it, edit a bit of the video, and yeah. Well, get the fuck up. Uh, we just got 25 Winter Todd kills for 25 League Points. We are very, very close to 25 more fire making as well. One more XP off of it. I just been AFK, and to be honest, I'm editing the vid. I'm chilling. I CBA getting faster XP. It do be what it do be. And that is 25 million fire making XP. I don't really die. Don't worry about me. I got some brews. I got the redemption prayer. I've got never ending prayer regeneration. It's all part of God's plan. 
25 million fire making XP. We're really not done with Winter Todd. I don't know what XP we're going to be at the done at the end of this league because we have to do like 300, 350 Winter Todd. I'm only at 20 something. But yeah, that gives us another 125 league points, puts us up to 48,395 points. We're closing in on that 50k points. Now, it may seem like I didn't fly up too many points today, but there's a lot of things we've been working on that I'm going to cash out in tomorrow's video. Diaries, 25 mil construction from all that mahogany planks we got from Revs, as well as some Scotizo kills that we're going to do. We got 25 mil agility that we're coming up. As you guys know, in the background of almost every video, I've been doing some Apatol agility course. So we're going to get to 25 mil tomorrow, and we're going to be able to cash in some of those uh, points from the Apatol agility course as we convert our monkey backpack and stuff like that. And we're going to be doing some more PVMing with the crossbow that we got today. Tomorrow, we go over 50,000 points for sure. Now, I heard you guys wanted to help out my channel. That's big if true. I got three simple steps for you. Click the like button, double check that you're subscribed, and comment down below why I'm the best to ever do it. I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. This might be like my 16th, 17th video. I don't know. But the support this league has been crazy.